Hello there everybody and welcome back to another Terraria modding video. In this video we are going to be covering migrating your mod from the previous version of T Mod Loader to version 0 0.10 of T Mod Loader. Uh, there are a few things that have changed and most of it is pretty simple to understand and we're going to go through some of those here so I'm going to start with uh, an item I think I did it in the tutorial pair I didn't uh, it's one of these which I've marked down this one. <coughs> oh, sorry okay so to start with you can see I've commented out the item.name equals tutorial breastplate and item.tooltip equals this is the story of breastplate. Now the reason I've done this is because you now have to use a new set defaults method called set static defaults. So this here is to set the name and this here is to set the tooltip. There is only one tooltip now and the way you add a second line is to just do that and that will give you uh, what you need. Up here you can see there's a bit that's been added uh, which is auto load equip the equip type. This is instead of having the public override auto load and then it had other stuff in it so you just auto load equipment with this here other than that everything in here and most items are the same there's something I'm sure there is but off the top of my head I cannot think what it is so let's jump over to NPCs so with NPCs you have to do the same thing, public, override void, set static defaults, display name equals the name, you get rid of the name. Uh, projectiles is also the same. Also there's an issue with javelin which might cause a few problems. Mainly the tile collide so I don't know what this got replaced with. But it's something I need to check in the future. So all these just have the same thing. Now, something that's been added is this section here, mainly these two lines. So, because uh, Terraria 1.3.5 added uh, some official translation stuff, this is now something that was added mod translation name equals create map entry name. And then you'd basically for basic one you just do name dot set default this of what if we'll cover multilingual uh names in the future but you set name dot set default to that and then you pass name through here instead of having a string. Okay, so there was sank in tutorial pet buff, yeah. Okay, so when I was doing this tutorial for the tutorial pet buff, uh, the example mod had been updated to include this, which is why I was having some issues. I was trying to enter this, these two lines before they existed. So instead of main dot buff name you now do uh, display name dot set default and instead of main dot buff tip I want to say you do description dot set default and if we test this I'm not sure how well this is going to run I haven't actually tested this yet but I'm going to find out now if everything works and one of my I've disabled all comments on the previous videos due to the possibility of people asking why this doesn't work. So now there is in the description a note saying please 
visit this video here because well it is what you need uh, every mod uh, development video is going to be using uh, version 0.10 so please keep that in mind if you ever need to jump back to a video to check stuff just remember the set static default stuff but other than that everything in the old video should work we will find out in a minute and there's going to be a lot of errors because of the updating okay apparently that might have changed also this is very loud Okay, let's disable some mods. Let's enable that. Reload mods. Oh, okay, apparently there's an issue with armor tutorial. Did I call it tutorial breastplate head? Oops, there's an issue there. That would help, wouldn't it, if I named something the right thing? This is meant to be the body. That would really help, wouldn't it? So luckily Team Mod Loader disables all the old uh, mods that haven't been updated, so you won't have to worry about that. Let's let uh, this reload. And we will see, hopefully, the stuff that's working. Hopefully, I cannot guarantee it because we are using a world that, or a character in a world that hasn't been given anything. But we can at least show the starting item. As you can see down here, it will say Team Mod Loader version 0.10 if you're using the right version. If you're still using the previous version, then odds are this will not work for you. Let's load this up. As you can see, this all still says the right stuff. Fortunately, we don't have the uh, stuff down here. We have our tutorial ores, I believe, and you can see on here the name has been fixed, so it will say that. That's how you'll be migrating. Uh, there's a few things that are also on the migration. Uh, document that we haven't covered in a tutorial so I won't be covering them in here we will be covering them in the future so thank you everyone for watching hopefully this has been a helpful little video until next time thanks for watching and goodbye